Bubble Busters! I'm Mina Rico. I'm a university student looking for an entry-level job. My mom brought me up as a single mom, so we were far from being well off. Despite our family situation, my mom paid for my education up until university, and I'm very grateful for that. I wanted to get a great job and repay her for all that she's done for me. But because of the recession, I was having a hard time, and most of my applications didn't even make the first round. Finally, I got an interview with one of the companies that I had applied for. I headed to the group interview in excitement. I'm so nervous, I need to calm myself down. I don't know how I'll get through with this with so many butterflies in my stomach. We will now begin the interviews. There were three students, including myself. There were three interviews to match our number, and it felt like we were on a group date. Not that I've ever been on one. Please begin with self-introductions. I'm from Ivy League University. I'm from Intelligence University. Uh, it's my turn. I'm so nervous, but I need to do this. I tried so hard to fight off the butterflies in my stomach. Butterflies are probably cheering me on at this point. I'm from Travis University. Um, no need for you to comment. Why? Please move on to talking about your strengths and achievements. For some reason, the interviewer had completely shut me out and only spoke to the other two candidates. I was perplexed because I hadn't been able to introduce myself, and the other two were already talking about their achievements. I have a lot of qualifications and no shortcomings. I'm invincible. The student next to me was confidently talking about her achievements, and I began to prepare for my turn. At university, I'm in a club for researching toads. You don't need to speak. How about you go home? Why am I being treated like I'm invisible? The interviews continued with me being ignored the entire time. The other students and interviewers knew that something wasn't right, but none of them could say anything to the interviewer who seemed to be in charge. As the interviews were coming to an end, the interviewer suddenly asked me a question. You, over there! The one that looks like she could bake some delicious cookies. Do you know why you were being ignored this whole time? Cookies? I don't work at a bakery! Um, I'm not sure. Could you please tell me why? The interviewer then pointed at my resume. It's because of your family structure written on your resume. You were brought up by a single mother, right? Yes, but what does that have to do with anything? It's a known fact that children brought up by single parents are not well-bred. Besides, your parents got divorced because they had problems, right? If the parents have problems, so do their children. What? The interviewer had discriminated against me just because I was brought up by a single mother. We only want candidates that have been brought up in a good family. <laughs> we don't need someone like you, someone from the underclass. <laughs> I was so shocked that I almost fainted. It's true that I was brought up in a single mother household. Because my parents got divorced, it was because my father had died when I was young. After my father passed away, my mother worked very hard to raise me on her own. The ignorant interviewer was making false assumptions about my mother and I was furious with him. I won't forgive him! Trouble busters! Ugh. I screamed in anger. What's wrong with her? She's crazy! Ugh. How dare you! She's gone mad! You're right, I grew up in a single mother household, but my mother is very admirable. She raised me on her own and she paid for my education up until university. I have nothing but respect for her. How dare you make such vicious assumptions about our family just because we were a single parent household. I then ran out of the room leaving everyone else stunned. Why would I want to work at such a discriminatory workplace? Good riddance. I ran out into the hallway in tears and saw a woman standing there. I wonder if she works here. She looked like she was about 10 years older than me. She was beautiful and dignified and seemed like someone who got the job done. Um, yes. I just heard a squeaky noise like a bird being strangled. Um, that would be me. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm relieved to know that a bird wasn't being strangled. I came here because of the noise, but then I heard talk about single parent households. That was me too. I'm sorry about the racket. You're one of the students that came for the interviews, right? May I speak with you? The woman took me to the cafeteria. My name is Misaki. I work here. I'm Midoriko from Travis University. Was one of the interviewers the snide and chubby man with glasses? Yes, he was chubby with glasses. I knew it. That man is evil, and he really is insistent on getting me to marry him. What? We should put him in his place. He said to me, if we get married, he would look after my child as well. He was really persistent. He's so full of himself. 
Yes, that's why I turned him down and told him that I would be just fine in raising my child on my own. I guess that got to him, and since then, he's been really mean to single mothers in general. That's terrible! Taking it out on other people over a personal grudge. According to Misaki, the interviewer has been very rude in attacking single mothers ever since he got dumped by her. That's why he would call a candidate from a single mother household to interviews. It was just a personal vendetta. I feel so bad for involving a harmless student. I'm so sorry. It's not my guilt only, but I would like to introduce you to a few business partners that are looking to hire. I can't ask you to do that. We've only just met. It's so kind of you. I can't guarantee that you'll get in for certain, and it will be up to you to wow them. But there are many companies out there that are better than ours. Misaki then gave me some documents relating to the companies. If you're interested, make sure that you apply to them. Good luck. Thank you so much. Also, you can write a complaint about the interview on the recruitment information website. Our senior management checks the information there, so you should write it about the incident as it occurred. That's a good idea. <laughs> Don't let today's incident bring you down. Good luck with the job hunting. Misaki was very kind to me, although we had just met, and I was able to put behind the negative events which took place at the interview. That evening, I wrote about the events which took place in the recruitment information website. I wrote that at my interview, the interviewer discriminated against me because I was from a single mother household. He ignored what I had to say and insulted my upbringing. What is so bad about a single mother household? I won't forgive him. Damn him. I couldn't actually use that language on the website, so I made sure to say it nicely, but in detail. It wasn't a direct confrontation, but I felt good about it. Then I sent my resume to the companies that Misaki had introduced to me. I was able to get an offer from one of the companies. The company that hired me is smaller in size compared to the first company that I interviewed with, but they valued diversity, and there were many women working there, including single mothers. I found out that many of the employees were from single-parent households, and I felt right at home. Sometime later, I was reunited with Misaki for one of our corporate projects. Do you remember me? It's me, Rico. We met a while ago when I went for an interview at your company. Oh, the one that made that squawking noise during the interview. Yes, that's the one. But I wish you would have remembered me differently. Of course I remember you. You got into this company, huh? It was thanks to you. I've been wanting to thank you. You did it all on your own. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, do you know what happened to that interviewer? I do. <laughs> After I wrote my comments on the recruitment information website, the senior management of the company read them. I wasn't the only one that had commented about being discriminated against for being brought up by a single mother. There were other students like myself. This was an issue for the company's reputation, so that interviewer was fired from his job. I'm so happy that that evil man is gone now but I feel responsible for what happened to you in the interview and all. Don't worry about it. I'm working for this fabulous company now. I wouldn't have applied for this job if it weren't for what happened at the interview. I was upset about what happened to me on that day, but because of it, I was able to find a job at this wonderful company. If I hadn't stormed out of that interview, I probably wouldn't be here today. I'm actually going to be working here for a while during this project. I'm happy we'll be working together. Me too. I became close to Misaki, both at work and privately. We go to lunch often. I'm so happy that I was able to find a nice job, but more importantly, I'm so happy that I met such a nice person like Misaki. <laughs> I had a bad encounter at my interview, but in the end, it was worth it because I landed a great job. I'm going to work hard and take care of my mom. Trouble busters.